extra frames of uh, landing like if you don't wave land. I thought Waveland was like 11 frames or something uh, like that. Or maybe that's adding the uh, jump squat that I'm thinking of. It could just be 8. Yeah, it's definitely... It's wow, that dare is crazy. Starting in with David Key and Man. Man, this is a This can be a super tough matchup. Any Falco matchup is tricky because uh, you're trying the entire game not to get tilted. You know, it's like, he just really did that to me. He just lasered into a fourth spin. It's like yeah. the dumbest thing. I could have just shielded and bodied him. Yeah, especially I feel like, like this could be a pretty volatile match. Davy Q is one of the fastest Falcos I've seen. It's like, yeah, well he's number one in Nebraska still, I think. Yeah, he has some contenders or uh, some people trying to get that spot, but I think he's still decisively number one. He's number two if you include Eifter, the Peach main. Really? But Eifter just moved to, I think, South Dakota. Dude, Eifter is, like, all over the place. Yeah, Wasn't he, he in Iowa before? Isn't he from Iowa? I don't know. But, yeah, he just comes to, like, every state's tournaments and bodies people. <laughs> Although he did lose for the first time against uh, Bobby Frizz at the last tournament. I think I think he might have been at Sweet Spot 1, too. Hmm. Wow. Yeah, that'd be sick if he came out for the next Sweet Spot. Yeah, I'm hoping. I feel definitely could pretty much give everyone a run for their money, including Frizz. Yeah. I, know, Frizz pretty, I think Frizz like 3 0 him last time. Uh, no, not at the Was there. it? No, it was oh, no. Five. Well, I was going to say Sweet Spot 2, Frizz beat him pretty decisively. Really? Okay. I believe. Because they, uh, maybe it was just uh, 2017, but. The Eifter definitely was like up 3 0 in sets. Mm -hmm. race. But I think that was just 2017. Does he always play play? Yeah. Oh, he, yeah. Oh, down. Oh, oh, no! Oh, no. <laughs> Not Tragic. Like... Oh, man. That, that hurts to watch. Just slip but, but only a little bit. Just like, little it's just bit. revenge on Falco, I feel like sometimes. Yeah. I just like. Yeah, Falco. Yeah, take it. You know? I, just, I, I hate. I hate watching Falcos who are not like, you know, spacing well or doing anything like that just get kills because of their good hitboxes. Yeah. It's a lot more fun watching a Falco who's like really doing crazy combos, you know, like reading DI and things like that. Um, so it's more fun watching I think so. I thought he was just gonna go for the dare, but uh, yeah, match definitely what I think. I don't know how often Dan plays David Q. Probably. I'm sure he's played him before. Yeah. Yeah. Um, he, David Q actually comes out to a fair amount of Kansas tournaments and Missouri tournaments. Um, not not a ton. Just yeah. you know, maybe like once a month or two months. Yeah. He'll show up to like a DR die or something. This is definitely David Q's best stage. That was a great down smash. Cover the spot dodge. And the and the, just the normal tech plays. Can you amp attack if it's like sloped down like that still? Um, I don't think you can in a lot of cases, but I could be wrong. Actually, uh, I th I think you, I think you can. Now, now that I think about it, I've definitely done it before. Um, I think it only matters that you're grounded that you can do an amp attack. Yeah, so you need to take off the ground. Yeah. Ooh. He, was, he, was doing, he was doing he was doing that thing where you hump the platform and you're like trying to get through it. Yeah. <laughs> it's like please come on, come on. Get down there. Once I started shield dropping, I just like only go through platforms. Yeah. Like it's it's so frustrating to not be able to go through because you just landed. Yeah. Ooh, nice. I love that jump in and shine with an with no aerial. It's a really good mix up on shield. Yeah. Ooh, this should be it. Back here. Oh text. Oh, beautiful text. Oh no! Oh, I didn't take that That's one. That's two edge in a row. I think he just has to uh, get to ledge faster. Yeah. As Falco, it's kind of hard to edge guard Sheik, I think, because with every other character, you really just don't want to go to ledge, basically. Very rarely do you want to go to the Legends Falco, because mm -hmm. um, he's so bad. <laughs> if, if you, you if you off. get knocked off, yeah. Yeah, it's just 
too much of a risk. But against Sheik, it's like every time you, you should go because uh, that's just how to get the guaranteed edge guard. Yeah. Nice dare there. Yeah. I want to see how much landing lag does uh, like Sheik's up you have. It's, uh, it's a fair amount. I don't think it's as bad as Falcon. Really? Huh. Maybe. Maybe it's, I think it's worse, but I'm not sure. This is the type of frame data that I never thought I needed to, you know, like. Landing how many? 30, 30 <laughs> how many frames. 30 frames? Yeah. That's not that much, actually. 30 frames, half a second. You know, it's like a fair amount, but... Definitely punishable. Yeah, that's for sure. Ooh, that roll in. How did he get that shine? I don't know. Dan was like definitely putting a hitbox out. Didn't work. Oh, that's crazy, dude. Man, he caught he caught Dan slipping. I think Dan might have tried to drop from the platform and just failed there. Um I got hit because of it. It's so rough, like platform movement in general. You yeah. want to use the platforms effectively, but if you mess up like one shield drop, then all your options are gone. Now you have to just run away. In a lot of cases. Yeah, just gotta be good at shield dropping. Yeah, well, I mean, nobody's 100% on shield dropping is the thing. Like, there's always that little chance yeah. that you're gonna mess up. Just gotta practice it every single time. Yep. The only person who's like 100% is some of the West Coast players in the club, pretty much. I think West, West Balls and I guess you James. I mean, I see Plub spot dodge when he tries to shield drop like every set. <laughs> really? Yeah, yeah, well, I mean, it doesn't happen a lot. It just does happen. Yeah, well, he does it so much. Yeah, he shield drops constantly. Yeah, that he's gonna mess up with shield. Is that a back here? Oh, it happened again. The platform screwed uh, Dan's man over. Oh man, he did a really good dash dance there. Sheik dash dancing is so unusual to see sometimes. Like, it's sort of like Falco dash dancing. You can, yeah. Like, use it for sort of extreme excesses or just space something really, really perfectly. It's not, very, not used very often. I think it's strong because it really is a mix up. Mm -hmm. Nobody expects the dash dance like they do with Fox or Falcon. Yeah. Ooh, he tried to read that second place. Wow. <laughs> that down smash was nuts though. Like I don't know how David Q is like ready to to get these hitboxes out <laughs> on Sheik's landing. He just has like a really good feel for the the character yeah. and where his hitboxes are going to be. I think there's quite a few uh, Sheik's actually in, in Nebraska. I think there's like two or three on the PR. Yeah. Probably get some practice. None on the top though, right? Uh, I can't think because it's like not Smish, like the top three. JBM um, underscores. JB, None JBM of them. is uh, like an actress. Oh, okay. There's like two or three in the video, I'm sure. Should be. Alright. Yeah. Grab the ledge. Yeah, some people are less confident in fire, fire, fire bird stalls as well. They're definitely a little. Aren't they harder than Fox? Yeah. You only have two frames to get it correct. Really? That's rough, Fox, man. I think, three or four. Yeah. But that's like the perfect stall too, right? Yeah. Okay. Which you don't have to get. You yeah. could like jump a little bit. I think the problem is that Falco's jump is faster. So if you mess up, you're like way above the ledge. Yeah, he... Um, like when you up B with Falco, it's like he doesn't grab the ledge as fast as Fox does. Nice there. That was like just the percentage where he could actually knock him down there. Yeah. That was close. Are there any other moves in like like uh, Falco Dare in Melee where it does it like depends on your percent? Is that like a unique thing to Falco? It seems like kind of strange. Does it not spike at a certain percent? So what do you mean? Well, it doesn't. I guess it's only because it doesn't knock them down. Oh yeah. That it. But it do, it seems like it doesn't hit as hard. 
um, or something. I could just be spewing <laughs> misinformation. Yeah, I, don't, I don't know a whole lot of information completely about the like, Papa and stuff like that. Ooh, that should be all right. Nice wave dash forward down smash. Down smash actually is so good against Falco because it will just uh, it'll cover from you know a distance. Spot dodge, shine in place, all kinds of things. Yeah. So you just like you cover so many options just by doing that down smash. You can get punished for it though. Just like most of Sheik's moves, so there's not the biggest punish window. Mm -hmm. Like probably the biggest, biggest punish. The punish windows were like a B or like a uh, force man. Yeah, she has a lot of good hitboxes, but none of them are like so perfect that there's zero way to punish them. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like with Fox, you have infinite shield pressure more or less that cannot be punished. Yeah. Which is insane and stupid. <laughs> um, but you know, people can't execute it because it's so hard. But it's there. I don't think Sheik has those kinds of options. Um, but she has really good options. Yeah. Of course. Um, that can be punished if you're like super on point. Especially as as species, they definitely are so quick. They can get in there and punish Sheik. Nice edge guard. That should be it. Yep. And this should be um, should be an upset. Dan could take this. Yeah. Had a lot of good edge guards that set that game. It's definitely you, you asked if they played before, but uh, do you know if they had ever if they've ever like played before and who won? I'm not sure. Yeah, I Dan and David Q both go to quite a few larger tournaments. Yeah. So I'm not sure. They play very often. Oh, that could have been a grab. <laughs> Such a yeah, once again, just like such a volatile matchup. Yeah. If Falco ever gets hit off stage, it's like almost guaranteed. Oh, it's so not. scary. Oh, nice tech. That was a beautiful tech. And he did the tech roll in, not just like a tech in place or something like that. Yeah. Not like that. Man, Dan's really scuffling with uh, with David Q. Mm -hmm. He's playing pretty well in these like close-up situations. David's like constantly trying to get up close, but Dan is just like jumping, using his aerial drift yeah. to stay right out of range, and then hitting a forward air. Yeah, I feel like David Cube could be using more grabs. Like he's doing a lot of shield pressure, and Sheik's just staying in shield, and then just jumping away afterwards, or rolling. He's getting the shield low, but he could just get a guaranteed punish if he yeah. were to get a grab. What do you get off of grab uh, as Falco and Sheik? Um, it depends on the percent and low percent. You can get actually a lot off of fair on like floaties like Sheik, each and Mark. And with what did he expect Dan to do there? He just kind of like ran into the stage. Maybe he was thinking he was going to put out a hitbox or something. I don't know. That was strange though. I thought that was going to be up tilt to dare or whatever. Every day of the week. Dan's at high percent. Yeah, one he wants to tack on whatever percent he can. Oh, wow. Ooh. Uh, dare? Oh, he messed it up. Maybe he missed the L cancel from that dare or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that would make sense. Because he couldn't get out there in time. David Q wouldn't think he'd be missing out on at this point. Yeah. But different timings for my chop moves. Especially if you throw in a fast one. Can be challenging. These two are spacing. They're trying not to not to land a dirty hit. They're trying to make it as clean as possible. Yeah. Ooh. Caught in the upper airport. Because that's the thing. In this matchup, if you hit the other character, it's not a... It doesn't really mean that you're going to get the punish. Mm -hmm. It could mean that they get the punish. And you really have to focus on oh. making sure that your hits are properly spaced. Single. Oh. David Q got antsy and jumped right back to the platform. Yeah, I cover that all day. Man, Dan is up. And it looks like he's going to take this match. It's not too high percent. It's not too good. 
going on. Ooh, scene. David Q Ooh. just throws out that dare and dance ready for it. Really All right, here he goes. Here he goes. What's he gonna do? Oh, needles. That's it. That's it. Yeah. Good stuff to Dan. Very 